Arthroscopic hip surgery is used to treat a variety of orthopedic conditions. A uh, majority of the arthroscopic hip surgery that I do is treating uh, label tears of the hip. And uh, the labrum is just uh, functions to act like a bumper to the hip joint and protect the cartilage underneath it. Uh, as well, we can treat uh, certain conditions such as um, tears in the uh, abductor or external rotator region, which is the rotator cuff basically of the hip. I try to maximize conservative treatment as much as possible and I will tell a patient if I generally think that they'll respond to conservative treatment. A majority of patients can uh, respond to conservative treatment and that is physical therapy, sometimes intraarticular or in, inside the joint hip injection of cortisone or steroid. If a patient is able to modify their activity um, and, and has a hip joint problem and does not want surgery, then I think that is a valid form of treatment as well. Once those don't work, uh, you know, I think patients can expect to have uh, a relatively quick uh, result from surgery as it is an arthroscopic surgery with small incisions and, and not a lot of um, uh, dissection that needs to happen with that. So an arthroscopic hip surgery is performed generally with two or three small poke hole incisions around the hip. They're about two and a half centimeters long or so. And those are mainly on the outside of the hip joint and they heal very well. So everything that we do is introduced um, from the outside in. And these small incisions allow us to put a small uh, camera inside the hip joint. Uh, once, we, once we get access to that, we're able to bring all our instruments in uh, from the outside. Uh, such as, you know, um, a shaver device or a suction device or different types of uh, devices that we use to fix things inside the hip joint. So patients needing arthroscopic hip surgery, there's, there's really no age cutoff for medical requirements. What really we need is uh, to look at the status of the hip joint. So if a patient has a lot of arthritis in the hip, uh, that usually will not respond well to arthroscopic hip surgery. Um, that's why we'll always get an MRI scan beforehand to kind of evaluate that. Uh, also, you know, if patients are, uh, like I said, there's really no age requirement, but it, it depends on the, st and the status of the hip joint cartilage um, and what the patient's overall function is. After an arthroscopic hip procedure, depending on what it is, a patient generally undergo a period of time where they're not putting a lot of weight on the leg. And we call that basically toe touch uh, weight bearing. So they're on crutches and a hip brace as well. And that's anywhere from a period of two to six weeks after uh, arthroscopic hip surgery. And as well in this time frame, we also have patients in physical therapy, which is very, very important, which can sometimes be uh, several months after our arthroscopic hip surgery.